Hello everyone, welcome back to my review channel. Today, I'm going to do volume 23 of One Piece. This um, is going to be the culmination of the uh, story, arc, story arc, basically. And uh, yeah, let's just get on into this. I got to write a few notes for this too, so let's uh, get on with it. Okay. Starts off with Toshigi and the Marines fighting alongside Zoro and the Straw Hat crew against um, part of the billions, is what they're called, the, the part of the billions of the Barak Works players. Barak Works. So they're on the island and they're fighting. Zoro, Straw Hats, and Toshigi and the Marines are all fighting these Barak Works players. Now the rest of the Straw Hats are looking for the bomb. Well, they found the bomb in the middle of the town square. And so now they have to get up to it. Now, um, let me see. Yeah, yeah. So they have to get up to the top of the clock tower and stop the bomb going off that Mr. Seven and Miss uh, Father's Day is going to set off, ignite. So now, uh, they, together they're able to get up there quickly enough. Vivi was able to stop the actual fuse from being for the lit fuse from being all the way in. She's able to stop that. But then you come to find out that the bomb is still on a timer. So just in case it didn't blow up to where he wanted it, it would still blow up. So now they have like just a few more precious seconds to try to get rid of this bomb, but they don't know how. Now it's just like an all or nothing. They, there's like nothing you can do. Um, as that happens, Pell, the Falcon guy, uh, comes in. He goes in his little bitty backstory about like Princess Vivi and the tower. This is the I understand it's like a good part of the story. It's just funny that you know he's here. He's like ah oh, memories while this town's about to damn blow up in just like three seconds. And, but he feels like yeah going through like memory lane with Princess Vivi real quick. Anyways, he he has he does a little self sacrifice. Carries the bomb up into the air using his devil fruit powers falcon and the bomb blows up saving everyone in the um, vicinity so now uh, we got that going on so Luffy finally defeats Sir Croc at this time finally like that was a really good battle between Lake's volumes these last two volumes this one and the last one really good fight uh, for the uh, big big fight Luffy versus Sir Croc Bell awesome stuff to watch uh, to read and to look to look at um as after he's defeated Princess Vivi is trying to still get everyone's attention even though the bomb went off and everything trying to get everyone's attention um, finally does and then it starts to rain and finally starts to rain naturally in this in this town for the first time in like four years seven years or something natural rain and everyone stops fighting and starts listening to Princess Vivi um, the king appears uh, King Cobra and Lord Egram which he you've known him for a while he was like the very beginning of the Rockworks players when they were like on the island of a uh, bounty hunter bounty hunters and stuff you get just that was that's when he came into play but uh, he's back and uh, the king gives a speech to bring the people back together and that's probably like around the middle of this volume right now. So we got the end of the fight, culmination time. Toshigi and Marines take Sir Crocodile with them on the boat back to like Marine Base, back to, you know, the jail. Now, um, this leaves Captain Smoker there and he gathers up a bunch of troops to surround, a bunch of ships to surround the island to stop the Straw Hats from leaving. Now, um, this goes on for a couple days because Luffy and the... First of all, after the fight, Luffy and the crew, Toshigi actually stopped any all the Marines from grabbing Luffy and their crew because they were all passed out on the ground like next to each other, and she actually stopped them from uh, capturing them. And uh, after that, they were kept in like the uh, palace for a few days, about three or four days. And, you know, given food, able to rest and everything until they were able to leave. So now they it's time for them to leave. 
and they're able to get by the Marines thanks to one very important person, uh, Bon Clay. With his help, the Straw Hats were able to get off the island and set sail far away. Uh, so thank you, Mr. Bon Clay. He was able to help. And one last gesture before they leave, they had a little thing they did together to like, for like a culmination of friendship. And it was just like a rite of passage, like this Princess Vivi was able to send them off and all the Straw Hats were able to say thank you without saying thank you. It is a very good culmination of the story, which is why I'm ending it right here, because it start because it ends so very well. Um is based they're all set off and they're all just, you know Princess Vivi's down the bottom sitting in the and she's not able actually to go out there and send them off directly because she is a princess in this town and they're not able to, you know, conversate, be like be friends with pirates. Pirate. They're pirates. They can't do that. So she they're all able to do this without speaking to each other. Without actually talking to each other. They can't. They can't do that. But they're able to speak without speaking. Or like speak without talking to each other. And it goes off without a hitch. Oh, you know, Bon Clay helped and everything, and they're able to set off. And it's a very good ending to this story. I think I'm going to end that there. Um, it does. Uh, the reason we're in this here, uh, I say this is the end, but really the next volume is really the end. It's like the last chapters or last part of Barack Works, and it's beginning of a new arc. That's why I'm not going to do it since this is a pretty good ending. This is a good place to stop. I'm just going to stop it right here. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because this is why I kind of got into this story anyway. I wanted to read up to this point. And I watched a movie that I got from a friend. Let me borrow it. And it's about this story, the Alabasta story. And I'm going to put that up next. And that's why I wanted to do this. I recorded that about after watching it. And I just wanted to get to this point and show the film. But um, I think for now, I'm just going to stop doing One Piece volumes. I'm going to switch doing something else. Probably I'm going to start doing some more movies and and some other things as well. I'm going to start doing some movies again and uh, get on back on track with that. But I had a lot of fun with One Piece. I have a lot more. I bought so many volumes all the way up to like 45, 46. I have so many. If I want to keep going with this, I know I can, <laughs> basically. And uh, if you got like if you guys want to hear it, then I'd then I'd do it. That's probably about as far as it'd go, but I think for right now I'm just going to stop with this one, with this volume, show the movie that I watched, and that's going to be it. But maybe I might just start doing it again. Like I said, I have a lot of volumes, and there are a lot of volumes. It's still going right now. As we speak, One Piece volumes are still coming out. So, um, but yeah, that's it for this, the ending of this arc, basically, the fight, the culmination, and then set off to set, set off to the next island, which is Skypea. I'll just give that away. The next island is Skypea. But um, yeah, it's another story arc. Um, anyways, that is it for this. Uh, thank you guys for your time. Thank you for watching. Leave any comment suggestions down on the bottom. I'll be sure to get back to you, and you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.